What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. And today's story time, though. Today's story time, though. I have a great story for you guys. We gonna talk about what we gonna talk about. We gonna talk about um computer lab in elementary school. So back in computer lab in elementary school, um, we always had to like. We had to basically like learn computer skills, typing without looking, knowing the right commas to use, knowing what speed to type at, knowing how to use the features of a computer. Things like that. I remember, we were just at elementary school, so they basically had to teach us um, all those things. And one thing she had was basically while she was showing us different things and while I was working on stuff in the computer, we go into games, playing games, go on website we're not supposed to go to. Uh, back then, it was Super Kid, Icy Tower. Um, y'all remember those games? Th- that that monster that used to like um, take sandwiches from Leo and Stitch. Y'all know that game I'm talking about. Um, we had played Red Beard. You mean that old oh, man? All right, come on, y'all know Mario. Like, come on, man, y'all know PBS Kids. Like PBS Kids had the best games too. Stop playing with me. And um. Yeah, so we all love playing those games. And even like Matt Mayhem, if y'all ain't know Matt Mayhem, that was my favorite Matt game. It was competitive. You face people from around the world. It makes you see how fast you can answer math questions. And basically, um, she didn't want us doing any of those. She wanted us to basically follow the lesson, learn the features of the computer, keep going, and don't give her any hard times. And basically... Some of us was going on stuff we were not supposed to. And we all got each other like, hey, things like, you know, like, stop doing it, like, good turn it out. And we all said last bit, but we all still got caught. But then finally, after all those times we kept doing that, she finally came one day. She said, if anyone's caught, anyone's caught doing that, I will write a referral on you and you will get one week's detention. Like, you know, back then you didn't want no referral right on you because that's your permanent file that's like going for you until you leave college, all those things. So, you ain't waiting on your permanent file. So, when she threatened, like, we said, you know, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, um, put it there, bro. Like, we all was like, chill, things like that. Like, we knew chill when we was younger, things like that. Like, chill. And she was basically saying, I'm not playing with you guys anymore. Like, you guys are taking my kindness for a week, and I'll keep on telling you guys that um, I want I want um, you guys to follow the lesson. So she said, if any of you caught, I will not even talk with you guys. I'll write you up, and you basically get, you know, I'll send you home, and then you're going to have detention starting the, the following week. So she wasn't playing no more. So um, what we did, like, she basically stood in the front of the class, and basically, when she taught the lesson, so what me and my and the boys did, we went at the in the back of the class, and then we all took seats. I was smart enough. I basically went at the end, the last seat in the back, way in the corner. They was in the back, but you was like near the door. Like, I, all she have to do is turn around. She see you guys. I'm in the corner with the computer facing like like this. She can only see the back of our computer. If you're doing something, she could basically, like, and you're in the back row, all she has to do is turn around, walk to you, and basically you'll be like this, like, switching the tab instead of exiting out. Me being in the corner, I could be calm like this. And you're going to see exactly what I did. So we all knew each other was playing games. We all looked at each other's computer and see what game they're playing and did it. So she was teaching the lesson, and that, that class was like, I forgot, like, probably an hour and 30 minutes. It was long. And I was like, like a five class of the day, like late, late. So, um, but I think it because well, now I can type like without even looking, but it because of that computer class. So basically, like, um, she was teaching the class, she was doing the lesson, and she, she got far in the lesson. You know, like if you were in an art class that goes by computer, and then she, a professor explain you step by step how to create a type of art, and then she's in the final step. But then when she looked on y'all computer, y'all nine no steps. Okay, so she was telling us how to create some type of art. And me, I only paying attention, y'all playing video games, but I paid attention enough 
to know it was some type of art we're doing. My boy, the boys, they wasn't paying this at all. Like the homies were just like playing the game. So y'all gonna see what I did. Chill. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all though. But um, but um, yeah. So we continue playing game, things like that. So when the class had like ten minutes left. She said, okay, let me see how it turned out for you guys. She checking the front, she checked the middle. And then she said, and I want to tell you guys, if you do not, if you didn't do nothing or didn't feel like I will write you up. So you're written up. You'll get the attention the following week. Okay. And I'll give you three F's for today's assignment. Woo! So I heard all of that, even though I'm playing, what again, okay, I'll play Icy Tire. You know, space balls. I was kidding. I said, let not play with me. But um she told, she said that, but my friends didn't hear. So after the middle row, I saw her come in the back, but she didn't start my She went around and then she went to the first row. I was the last one, remember? And he said, what were you guys done? He went, oh, professor. Oh, oh. And then she said, oh, you got to play games. Double F. What's your name? Go, go stand in front of class. She's one bottle picking up. Oh, you, double F. Me, I had time and my heart was racing. So I was rushing. I was looking at the storage of the computer I was in. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. And then she was coming close to me. Like, she said, oh, you are up in front, uh, written up, uh, um, written up, detention, all those things. And then I looked, and then I looked in the storage back then, bro. I, I, bro, I put that, <laughs> bro. And then um, I looked in the storage of my computer and I saw the same assignment we was working on done by somebody else. So, but it had a name on it. What I did, I click on that assignment. I basically typed my name in. Oh my goodness. I typed my name in, erased it, erased their name, typed my name, saved it under my name and put CJ's project. And then basically I saved it. Then I opened the screen to complete the complete artwork that she just um, did a class like from another class. But she ain't, you got the bruh. So anyway, the attention, the attention, written up, written up. Then she got to me. She said, Carol, okay. Uh, she said, CJ, let me see you, your, your computer. Like she was ready to get me in trouble. I turned around and said, here you go, professor. And she looked, she's like, oh, you got it done. Good job. And she said, How, why you guys, they fought her step? They, the, the boys went crazy, bro. They tried so many y'all. They was like, what? That nigga was like, he was, he was playing games with us. He wasn't working on the assignment. He lying. What was that? And she said, it says his name. He did it. Just because you got one paying attention and you a guy playing games, and base don't say he was playing games too, Bruh, I even had time to x out the game and escape and clear from the history. Bruh, do you see how smart you gotta be to get away with these things? I knew I had to sit at the the last chair in the last row because that's gonna be if you got you got you gotta give yourself time. When you finesse it, you gotta know what you what you're doing. Read the situation and do the smart decision. They ain't know why I went sit in the corner. They say you want to sit all the way in the corner. Oh, good luck. I knew exactly why I went sit in the corner. So they got in trouble. I stopped playing games. I started listening, but I got away with first degree, man. <laughs> like I got away with first degree, and damn, I felt sorry for those boys. But I felt like I was like I was in with y'all. They said no, they you was like, and they was mad at me. But I'm saying y'all mad that y'all got caught and I did it. Ain't my problem. Well, that's the story for the day, man. Like, the moral of the story is use your head, not your. Just use your head. It's, yeah, man, say to that J to the C, and I'm out of here. Be breezy.